Well, I can't take credit. I've only been here for five years, but this school's always been about excellence, and so we've always believed in public displays of work. So about eight years ago, we were authorized as an international baccalaureate world school, and a part of that is our fifth grade exhibition. Every year, our students get better and better at becoming intrinsically motivated and driven with passion to impact the community. So you hear student topics like homelessness, ocean debris, and it's something as simple as uh, too much traffic. You know, as I travel across the country, I don't find anybody very enthused about current accountability measures, current assessment metrics. You know, that there aren't staunch defenders of SATs or ACTs or, you know, just the general set of things, you know, that we put into the magazines that we hold up as indicators of better or worse learning in schools. So that if we've got bad metrics, if we've got bad accountability measures, we won't replace them with nothing. We need to replace them, complement them initially, and then over time replace them with something far more informed, revealing, aligned with real learning in schools. Standardized tests are becoming so old-fashioned. They're supposed to be a predictor of success for our students, but really, we now we know that there are so many more powerful assessment tools. And so on one end of the spectrum, you have standardized tests. And then on the other end is something you'll see tonight, which is our fifth grade exhibition, which is public displays of work. Public exhibition is all about the students, and it's only when they live through that process are they able to speak from the heart. It's really about failing and getting back up. It's about having those arguments with their group members and then figuring out a way to work together. Only then, when they're interviewed on exhibition night, can they share their ups and downs and their entire inquiry journey. Student agency for us is defined as voice, choice, and ownership of the student's learning. Intertwined in this process are the lines of inquiry and the key concepts we want to focus on, and above all, the attributes of our learner profile. Every student has a project that they're passionate about, and at the beginning, there's lots of struggles. But about midway through, they go through this phase called the crunch, where they start pulling it together, and they start emerging their talents, and they start applying their learning. Exhibition is driven by passion. Teachers guide with inquiry, and students speak from the heart. But they take tangible examples of excellent, proficient, adequate, maybe subpar student work by a topic or not, by grade level or not, and then you're able to map a kid's work and say, this work in our mind is proficient for these reasons and you have some comparables. And I think that's a more authentic way to go about it. If we want to teach students how to make good decisions, we can't tell them how to make good decisions. They have to actually make decisions and learn from that. Just like with projects, students have to engage in authentic projects and that's going to push them to become life successful. When students perform a song, after the performance, that song continues to play in their head and it continues to push them towards mastery. While with exhibition, the song that plays in their head is the impact they made on the community. And so after exhibition, they continue to learn and master compassion. Our fifth graders have been doing this for eight years now. And so anyone that says this can't be done, well, we're proof that it can.